Hey there Bittizens and welcome to The Killer Bits. My name is Francesca and today is our 100th vlog, which is rather exciting. Uh, and today I want to talk to you guys about The Binding of Isaac and alternate reality games, which is also quite exciting. Now, Binding of Isaac is a game which is predominantly made by a guy called Edward McMillan, along with uh, a development team known as Nicalis. Uh, and when Binding of Isaac Rebirth came out, within 109 hours of the game releasing, uh, people had data mined the code and discovered a character called the Lost. Now, typically you unlock the Lost by dying in a series of convoluted ways. Edmund then expressed his distaste at the fact that people had data mined the code to find uh, this character rather than, you know, discovering him through playing. Uh, and a lot of people expected that for Afterbirth, he would do something kind of interesting and secret that couldn't be data mined. And that is where the alternative reality game comes into play. Bear in mind that the 109 hours it took for the loss to be data mined is kind of significant in this story. Now the Argo began when the icon for the generosity achievement was updated. Now, Binding of Isaac Afterbirth is all about kind of this new mode called greed mode. So the generosity achievement kind of ties in with that. Basically, someone on the Binding of Isaac subreddit decoded the code on the icon. Basically, it was a series of pixels, and if you replaced certain pixels with numbers and some series of pixels with numbers, you got a number code. If you then encoded that with ASCII, you got a series of letters, which if you put at the end of an imager link or imger, you got a link to a image, which was 109 pixels by 109 pixels of the lost, uh, along with eight little shadow buddies. At the bottom there is a quote from Genesis 30, 35, and that day he removed the he-goats. Now, after this was discovered, Edmund McMillan tweeted a picture in the background of which is a movie poster for the film The Lost Boys. Obviously this is then tying into the character The Lost. He then also tweeted, People are strange, but I'm sure you'll get it. Now, People are strange is the intro sequence from the movie The Lost Boys. And during the intro sequence, it shows a Santa Cruz boardwalk covered in missing posters. When you stream, when you stream. Now the latest cutscene to be added to the game at the ending shows a zoomed out house and then a missing poster of Isaac. So this is awfully relevant. On top of that, if you go to the 30, 35 minute mark of the movie, uh, a character says perfect timing and it cuts to a sequence of a train bridge. Perfect timing. Going on. So this leads the community to believe that if you go to Santa Cruz Boardwalk near a train bridge, you will find something. And indeed, someone went and found a missing poster. On the back of the poster, it says God is Spirit. God is Spirit is a reference to John 424, which turns out to be the area code for the phone number. The missing part of the phone number was worked out to be quite obviously 0109, you know, 109 being kind of important to the community. Now, if you phone that number, you get a voicemail message. Some of the parts in the message have been reversed, uh, but this is the message basically spliced together with the reverse parts reversed, so you get the full message. Hello, Isaac. This is your father. I know what you came for, but I need to hear you ask me. Now that is the voice of Matthias Bossi, who is the narrator slash composer for Binding of Isaac. This led people to believe that the narrator may in fact be Isaac's father, uh, but bear in mind father can also have connotations in religion, you know, God is our father, for example, um, so we're not entirely sure how that all ties together. Uh, on top of that, people then started to think that maybe we have to somehow give Isaac a voice or ask the right question to his father. Edmund McMillan then tweeted with the ending saying that he was trying to find his phone, which is also, you know, him kind of making fun of the fact that we found this phone number. Now, at some point, the voicemail message on the phone number changed. I personally couldn't try and find out why it changed. We may have done something as a community to change it, but I couldn't find out exactly what had happened. But the voicemail changed, again with reverse parts, to this. Christ calls. Generous gods don't guide history forever. Knowledge grows. His final form ends beyond greed. We need to go deeper. 
Now, if you take the first letter of each of the words in that voicemail, you get a series of letters. If you then replace these letters with their numeric equivalent, so, you know, if A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, all the way to Z is 26, uh, you get a actual latitude and longitude, which corresponds to a place in Santa Ana. So then people went to Santa Ana and they went to the latitude and longitude uh, and there was sort of a series of tweets by Edmund saying, you know, like, don't do anything illegal, for example. Um, but they found a, a map and also a poster. Then Tyrone Rodriguez, who is the founder of Nicalis, tweeted, you know, why didn't anyone bring a shovel? Uh, the people at the spot found like a pile of change and dug under the pile of change and found a figurine. Uh, the figurine is covered in the number nine. Now, donation machines in Binding of Isaac can fill up up to 999 coins. So this is kind of a, a clue towards donation machines. Uh, on the back, obviously, there's some, some writing about Isaac and being dead and his voice and stuff. And then on his forehead, there is another code, which is an ASCII code for the at symbol. On Twitter, they found the account I am Isaac's body with the password Isaac is dead. And this allowed people to go on that account and tweet, thus giving Isaac a voice. The password on that account has since been changed. Whether it was by the devs or a random person that has access remains to be seen, but the password was changed. But ultimately, Isaac got a voice. Now, at this point, it's not clear whether we had to tweet, you know, a specific phrase or whether we just had to, you know, find the account and give him a voice. But ultimately, Isaac got a voice. Uh, and then the devs dropped a patch on the game, which allows you to unlock a new character, a new secret character that was basically unlocked via all this community stuff called the Keeper. Uh, you unlock him by having 999 coins in your greed mode donation box, which is separate from your main mode do donation box. I currently have eight coins in my donation box for greed mode. I'm not very good at it. Um, but if you, if you fully donate that and then blow it up, you unlock the Keeper. Uh, it looks like his health is made of coins, he fires triple shot, he starts with a bomb, and any red heart drops seem to turn into flies. Uh, but I'm very excited to kind of try out the Keeper, unlock him, uh, and see kind of how he works out. And I think kind of what worked out from this is the fact that you can't data mine real life. So instead of putting, you know, the character straight in and having him locked just by playing the game, they made this very convoluted treasure trail that was actually solved very, very quickly. Um, I know there's some kind of leaps where I'm not entirely sure what happened, like why the voicemail changed or what it is on Twitter that unlocked the character. I'm sure that will kind of come, become clear in the next couple of days, but this all did happen, you know, in the last couple of days very quickly uh, and very kind of efficiently. Uh, and I'm, I'm really loving this. I think this is a fantastic way to uh, engage with your community, to publicize your game from a business standpoint and basically to, to cause people to have a lot of fun. I mean, this is completely complicated. Like, I think the whole community coming together and working together to find this new character is really, really awesome and really exciting. Uh, and I can't wait to unlock him and play him. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think this is something that devs and games companies should do more of? Do you think that like, you know, data mining is 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 kind of like ruining things the way that they found the lost, you know, through a sequence of deaths? Um, and these kind of ways where you can unlock things by going through a series of real life events might be better. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in seeing us do Binding of Isaac runs, let us know in the comments below. We could always do co-op runs. Uh, I can, you know, recruit Aaron and we can do two player. Again, let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Beyond that, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the killabits and Twitter at the killabits. And if you want to stick some coins in our personal donation machine, you know, maybe unlock our keeper, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash the killabits. I've been Francesca. This has been the Binding of Isaac ARG alternate reality game keeper unlock. And, you know, I thought it was awesome. I absolutely love Binding of Isaac. I think it's a tough game to kind of maybe get into because it doesn't really hold your hand or lead you into it. Um, but once you kind of get beneath the surface, it's like an iceberg. There's so much there to discover and so much fun to be had. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.